In today's funny story joke, we travel to the quaint village of Ballymore, nestled between rolling green hills, where two dedicated souls, Father Patrick and Sister Mary, found themselves in an uproarious situation. After a long day at the seminary, their car broke down, leading to an unforgettable night filled with comedy. Get ready for a hilarious twist that will have you laughing out loud. In the quaint, sleepy village of Ballymore, nestled between rolling hills and ancient trees, a priest named Father Patrick and a nun named Sister Mary were returning from a long day at the seminary. The sky was beginning to darken, and a gentle mist was rising from the fields, giving the landscape an ethereal glow. As they drove along the winding country road, the car began to sputter and cough, finally giving out altogether. Father Patrick sighed and pulled the car to the side of the road. Well, sister, it looks like we're stranded until morning. The nearest garage won't open until then. Sister Mary nodded, her eyes scanning the darkening horizon. It seems we'll need to find a place to stay for the night. After a short walk, they found a cozy little bed and breakfast, its windows glowing warmly in the evening light. The sign read, The Restful Haven and it looked like the perfect place to spend the night. They approached the innkeeper, an elderly woman with a kind smile, who informed them that only one room was available. Father Patrick and Sister Mary exchanged a glance, both thinking the same thing. This would be an interesting night. Father Patrick hesitated for a moment before saying, Sister, I don't think the Lord would object if we spent the night sharing this one room. I'll sleep on the sofa and you can have the bed. Sister Mary considered this and then agreed. I think that would be fine, Father. They prepared for bed, each saying their nightly prayers with the solemnity befitting their station, though the absurdity of the situation wasn't lost on either of them. The room was small but comfortable, with a single bed that looked like it had seen better days and a modest sofa that seemed to have a slight tilt to one side. Father Patrick, ever the gentleman, insisted on taking the sofa. As he stretched out on it, the sofa let out a groan louder than an old church organ. It creaked and squeaked with every minor adjustment he made, sounding almost as if it were giving a running commentary on his every move. He finally found a position that seemed somewhat stable and let out a sigh of relief, which was immediately followed by another loud creak from the sofa, as if in response. Sister Mary, on the other hand, settled into the bed pulling the covers up to her chin with a shiver. She glanced over at Father Patrick, who was still wrestling with the rebellious sofa, and couldn't help but smile. The bed was cozy enough, though it had a slight dip in the middle that made her feel like she was being gently folded in half. They exchanged a look across the room, the kind that old friends share when they're both in on the funny joke, and each tried to stifle their giggles. The bed and the sofa seemed to be in a contest of which could make the most noise, and it was a close race. Ten minutes passed, and Sister Mary whispered into the darkness, Father, I'm very cold. Father Patrick, ever the gentleman, replied, It's okay, Sister. I'll get a blanket from the cupboard. He got up, fetched a blanket, and gently laid it over her. Another ten minutes passed, and Sister Mary spoke again. Father, I'm still terribly cold. Father Patrick sighed but remained patient. Don't worry, sister. I'll get up and fetch you another blanket. He got up once more, retrieved another blanket from the cupboard, and placed it over her. But hold on there, as this funny story joke ain't over just yet. Another ten minutes went by, and the room was filled with a heavy silence, save for the occasional rustle of the blankets. Then, in a voice barely above a whisper, Sister Mary murmured, Father, I'm still very cold. I don't think the Lord would mind if we acted as man and wife just for this one night. Father Patrick was silent for a moment, his mind racing with the implications of her suggestion. Then, with a twinkle of mischief in his eye, he replied, You're right, sister. Get your own blankets. <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.